Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today we're going to talk about a new application, No Noise AI by On One Software. Now those of you that follow my channel, watch my videos, probably know that I've said over and over again that my favorite plugin of all the plugins in the world is Denoise AI by Topaz Labs. Well, over the past few days, I've had the opportunity to use a beta early release version of No Noise AI by On One Software, and I have to say I'm really impressed. It works really well, and I'm going to demo it in a moment. I just want to mention, though, that there are a couple reasons why someone may prefer No Noise AI over Denoise AI. The first reason is it seems to be very lightweight. One of the complaints I get about Denoise AI is that it runs very slow on some systems. Now, if you see my videos, it works super fast on my computer, but it seems to be very microprocessor and graphics card dependent. So depending on how your system is configured, it could run very slowly. No Noise AI, best I could tell, isn't as graphics card microprocessor dependent and it seems to work very very fast on every system i've tried it on so that's something to keep in mind the second reason why a person may prefer no noise ai is that it works as a plugin in a lot of different applications now denoise ai works as a plugin in lightroom and photoshop but no noise ai not only works as a plugin in those Adobe apps, Photoshop and Lightroom, it also works as a plugin in Capture One, Affinity Photo, Corel Paint Shop Pro, and Apple Photos. So it has that going for it as well. Now, of course, both applications work as standalone apps as well, and that's the way I'm going to demo it today. It reads RAW files, TIFF files, JPEGs, it reads all file types. And you could save it to numerous different file types, including you could save the image as a DNG RAW file once you're done removing the noise. So it has a lot of advantages. Now Denoise AI, as you'll see in a moment as I show you this app, um, has more uh, what they call AI models. So Denoise AI has the advantage that it may be more versatile. It work on more different types of images more effectively, like a night image maybe. It might work better because it has a specific noise AI model for night images. So they each have their advantages and disadvantages, but I want to show you this real quick. Now, I am working with a pre-release beta version. Once the software is actually released, it may look slightly different than this. Um, also, I'm doing this video before it's actually released, so I don't know any details about the sale or anything of how much it actually will cost. But in the description below this video, I'll have a link to On One Software's website. You could check it out. I'm pretty sure that they'll have a fully working free trial that you could download and try out. If you decide to purchase it, I have a discount code. Now, sometimes the discount codes are disabled when software is on sale or a product is on sale, but I'll have it listed in the description below this video nonetheless, and you could give it a try. Maybe you'll be able to save a few dollars. Now, I'm going to open a RAW file in this, so I'm going to just click on Open Photos, and on my desktop, I have this Nikon RAW file. It's a RAW file that I often use in these videos where I'm demonstrating um, how to remove noise with applications. And you can see that it's done. It actually did it already. Now, um, it has an auto mode. I have auto on. And this uh, image, if you look at it, there's this bar in the middle. If I move it all to the way, this bar all the way to the right, this is the image with noise, unprocessed. And I'll zoom in right here. And you can see that it has a significant amount of noise, not only luminance noise, but also color noise as well. And now I'll move the bar over to the left and you'll see that the noise is completely eliminated and it didn't blur the image at all. Some, of course, software, when you reduce noise, it really just kind of blurs out the noise and it will blur out details of your image. You can see it didn't do that. Now it has a sharpening section over here. Uh, that if you want to add sharpening to it, you can. You can move the mount and then detail up, and you could sharpen it. What I found, it's really subtle sharpening. It does a really nice job, and it doesn't enhance noise. I, some apps, when you sharpen them inside of the noise reduction app itself, when you add sharpening, it seems to bring back the noise. I didn't find that here. 
it, it just sharpens the bird. Um, but it does a nice job. Uh, so I'm really impressed uh, with the software. Really, really impressed. There's, there's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. So it does a really, really nice job. Now I mentioned it works as a plugin in all those different apps. In the future, I'll do videos demonstrating how it works as a plugin in some of those apps. Um, but right now we'll save this image. Um, I'm gonna save it as a raw file. This, by the way, was an unprocessed raw file. I didn't do any processing on it at all. So this is just straight out of the camera and then that's it with the noise removed. So what we're going to do is we're going to click done over here on the lower right hand side and I'm going to save it as a DNG. You could see you have the option of Photoshop, a Photoshop large document, a TIFF, JPEG or a PNG. I'm going to save it as a DNG. DNG of course is a raw file. So we'll save it as that and let it do its thing and it did. It saved the file already. There it's closed. So we're going to, oh by the way this also works as a batch processor. You see right here it says open photos in plural. So you could open many photos all at once and work on them uh, in a batch. So that's an advantage um, as well. Other apps do that too. I shouldn't say it's an advantage. Now when we save it, we have the original raw file right here. We have the new DNG raw file with the noise removed. And also you'll have this little um, sidecar file. That's just on one. So it remembers the settings. If you want to go in back into on one's um, no noise AI and you know readjust anything, you'll have that there. Now, when you're working as a plugin, of course, all that will be in whatever app you're working on. It'll be in its own folder. So you're going to have this sidecar file here. You don't have to keep it. I mean, you won't lose your um, edits. You won't lose your noise reduction if you throw this away. For example, I'll throw it away. All right. And then we'll take this and I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. And because it's a raw file, it's going to open up in Camera Raw. Um, and then you'll see that the noise is still reduced even though I threw out that file. Here we are in camera raw and we'll zoom in. I'll hold the command key in and zoom in right there. And you can see the noise is reduced beautifully. And now I could come in and process this um, as a raw file because that's what it is, right? So we could bring highlights down a little, open up the shadows, bring whites, get more of a black point there. We could add texture, make it too sharp get some clarity and so on. So I'm just talking and pushing sliders. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing, but you get an idea of how then you could edit the image, um, you know, from that point forward. So that's this new app, No Noise AI. Again, in the description below this video, I have links to their website. Check it out. I have a discount code. Hopefully that works. That'll save you a few more dollars. And I'll also have in the description below some key features things I didn't talk about here. Like it, it, it does demosaicing. It does other things too. So I'll ha have all that listed in the description below this video as well. And um, again, in the future, I'll do some videos demonstrating how it works as a plugin in these other apps that I mentioned. That's Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom Classic, Capture One, Affinity Photo, Curl Paint Shop Pro I don't own, so I probably won't be able to do that. And Apple Photos, I'm not sure. Maybe about 12 people would want to see me do that, but we'll see. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.